So today we're going to talk about motivation, how to deal with it, and how to get stuff done when it's not apparent, right? When motivation fades. We're also going to talk about how to actually get back on the wagon, right? When you fall off, you're slacking, you're fucking up, you're missing your habits. And this is something everyone can relate to. It doesn't matter, dude, if it's the gym, if it's business, if it's personal development. We all at one point fall off the wagon, right? And the motivation disappears and some people just stay there. I want to teach you guys how to get back on because this is what I do in my life, right? The concept of motivation is it's wishy-washy, bro, because motivation comes, motivation goes. If you're watching this video, you probably don't have a ton of it and you're the person I want to be talking to because quite frankly, I have been that person countless times in my life, three weeks ago, three years ago, a couple months ago, so many times, dude, we, we go through these cycles and I want to help you out with what I do. So when motivation's not here, it's for a plethora of reasons, bro. It could be family shit. You could have lost a girl. You could have lost a person. You could have lost a friend. You might just have been dealt a shit hand in life. And I don't want to tell you what you want to hear. I want to tell you what you need to hear because that's more valuable to you. So the question is, it's not about, dude, if you feel the motivation or not. That, that's not the premise of it. It's do you want to stay here? Because everything in life is temporary. Life itself is temporary. So do you want this moment to last longer and just sit back, lick your wounds, have no motivation and just kind of be stuck. Eventually it's going to get to the point probably where it's unbearable because you just watch moments, years, months fly by in life. Or do you want to take the first step towards real change? But if you stay where you are, all the emotions, all the feelings that you have currently will just fester and grow. It will only get worse but it might feel good in the moment because there's a comfort to misery almost, as weird as it sounds. And then there's this resistance because it's stopping you. It's so hard to get it. It started again because you're stationary. You're not moving, right? And the reason why you probably want to stay where you are, that feeling that it almost feels good, it gives you a dopamine hit, is the pain of change. Right? You'd have to change. You'd have to put one foot in front of the other. You'd have to start it again, whether it's going to the gym, personal development, you know, putting yourself back out there, starting that business, whatever the hell it is, there's a pain of change to it. Right? And that's what you're thinking of. That's what helps create this resistance. But on the flip side, there's another type of pain. There's a pain of the present. Because I know right now, dude, I've been, in, I've been in your shoes. There's that uncomfortable feeling. It's like almost hard to sleep at night knowing you're off, you're off the rails. Knowing you're, you're far from where you want to be, it hurts. Because you got that voice deep down that says, man, I can do a hell of a lot more than what I am right now. And it's tough. So what do you do? Because this might be all you have. These feelings, whether it's pain, depression, anxiety, whatever it is, bro, I've been at that point. And people in our world, in my world specifically, guys like me who post videos, they make it seem like it's this all sunshine and rainbows place. That's not the case, bro. In the real world that we live in, there is the day and there is the dark. That's how it works. There's two sides to every coin. Right now, you might be in the dark. So if you just stay there in this present, you just sit back and lick your wound, that's life now. Or you can do this. You can use the pain you have to create change. Understand, bro, you do not have to be motivated to start going to the gym again. You do not have to be motivated to get back on personal development. You don't have to be motivated to try and go make more money, to start a business, to learn a skill. You don't need motivation. You can use whatever hand you are dealt currently. Use it to your benefit, bro. Because think of your life as a movie. There's heroes, there's villains. What does a villain do? He uses the pain to create more pain. 
He's a victim. He takes the shit out on everyone else. Now, what does a hero do? He has a similar pain, if not greater, but he uses the pain for good. That's the difference. When I, you know, started in door-to-door sales, dude, I did not feel like motivated. I didn't really have that. I just had pain of the present and that was my fuel source, right? Because when you're in this stage where you don't have motivation, you haven't reached that point yet, you got to use what you have, man. It could be pain, fear, fucking depression, whatever it is, just use it, play it to your advantage. So what are you going to use it to do? Because motivation will not come when you are stationary. You're never going to have this moment, bro, where you're like, oh, here it is. I'm ready now. That won't happen. But here's what will. If you want to get motivated, take action. Take a small step. Because I know right now you you feel that little little dopamine hit of motivation, but I'm going to tell you it's going to fade away. But you can use that little dopamine hit of motivation that you're getting right now to start. Just take the first step, bro. Make it something. It doesn't have to be a three hour gym workout. It doesn't have to be a 50 mile run. It doesn't have to be an hour long meditation. Make it something and just start. Dip your toes in the water. And then you start to get some momentum. You say, oh, you know what? Another step. And you start walking forward again. You gain momentum because right now you are, uh, momentum's an enemy to you. Make it an ally. Start progressing forward because once the action comes, the motivation follows. First comes the action, then comes the motivation. And then after all that, you gain momentum. And dude, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm fired up. I'm passionate about this stuff because I've been through so many of these cycles in my life. It goes back to a great quote from an astronaut. One small step for man, one massive leap for mankind. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. It's the same thing here. That first step where you just take the action, no matter how big, no matter how small, it's a massive step for you. And then you can just push the dominoes down. And then one by one, they start to fall down. That is your new normal. And then once you get some momentum, it's weird, dude. It's like hands off the wheel, cruise control. That becomes your new normal. But the problem is your normal right now is being stationary. Stop waiting for motivation to come. It's, it's never going to just fucking come to you. You're never going to have that epiphany moment ah, where you're motivated, bro. That, that's not how it works, man. You're first going to have to take the action and overcome the resistance, and then the motivation is going to come. So whatever the fuck you have, dude, whether it's one of these two, just use it. People in, you know, in entrepreneurship, business, personal development, they like to do this like, it's all sunshine and rainbows, bro. No. Sometimes it's really hard. Sometimes it's really ugly. And sometimes it freaking sucks. And there's no other way to put it. And that's all maybe you have. So if that's you, use it to at least your benefit. 